Hey guys, today I'm going to talk to you about the future of education, where you can do your homework in less than a minute. Wait, actually that future is here now. But before we get into that, let me introduce you to the main characters in our story. Character number one, you. Homework takes a long time to complete. You end up watching videos like this instead of doing your homework. This is where the hero or the protagonist of our story comes in. The artificial intelligence GPT chat, which was released relatively recently and is free for all to use. What I want to do is look at what it can do and can it really solve your homework in less than a minute. But before I look into the question of homework being done within less than a minute, I want to first look at the features and how this whole GPT chat works. So let's dive right in. Let's see what chat GPT can do for us. Let's start with a simple question. Let's say, for example, what is two plus two? Two plus two equals to four. Easy peasy. Let's see if we can ask it some more complicated questions. Something you need more than a minute to do. Let's say if it can teach me Newton's first law. Let's see what it says. It says Newton's first law states that an object will remain at rest or in motion at constant velocity unless it It gives us some sort of a definition. It even talks about where this was found in Isaac Newton's book. But perhaps I'm a buffoon. I'm an idiot. Well, not perhaps. I definitely am. Let's make it a bit simpler for myself. So let's say teach this to me like I am a five-year-old. Sure. It says, sure, I can explain it in a way that a five-year-old might understand. See what it, says? it says, imagine you're sitting in a car. If the car is moving at a constant speed, you will feel like you're just sitting still. This is actually really good. So like it's gone from just giving me a kind of a textbook definition to now explaining it to me like I'm a five-year-old. I'm not quite sure if five-year-old is the right word for this. Maybe like an eight, nine-year-old could understand this, but I guess you could give it further prompts and you can ask it to simplify further. But very quickly, we have found answers in a simplified manner that even Google can't do. And it's answering specific questions. It's not giving you a vague, somewhat similar answer. It's giving you that specific question that we want it answered. So how about if I wanted to do some code? For example, teach me about curl. Curl is a command line utility for transferring data from or to a server. Okay, making HTTP, HTTP requests, et cetera, et cetera. But again, you can see it can give us very you know, useful information. Can you show me how uh, I can use curl for some example? use cases. So it's even giving you what you need to type in. It's even giving you what you need to type in, for example. Yeah? If you want to send a post request with JSON data in the request body, use the following command. Now you don't even need to worry about writing code. You can just get it from here. Absolutely amazing. And I know people have gone on and actually written heaps of code on this already. Wow. Let's see, can it write stories for us? How about we write a story? Is it right? If I write a word story of my main character is SpongeBob. It is set in the future. Add lots of detail and dialogue to the story. And wow, it is just churning this out left, right, and center. And it's doing it in less than a minute. Absolutely amazing. So what I did was I thought, hey, let me see what some really intelligent and clever people think of this. So I messaged my friend Amna from Cambridge University. So I thought, hey, let me speak to her and see what she makes of this. So an essay question of mine, which I did for a Cambridge essay earlier this year, was actually inputted into the chat GPT software. And the big question is, how well did it do? Did it produce a better essay than mine, for instance? Well, I will definitely say it did answer the question and it did cover a broad range of points in the essay. So that was definitely a good thing. However, I wouldn't particularly qualify it as a first class essay because of the fact that all it has done is answer the question in a very simple manner. It's not very original. And this is the thing with AI generally, even the, the ones which can write student essays, all they do really is regurgitate information which is already out there. And in that sense, they aren't really producing anything original, which to get a high scored essay, you would have to do. In order for an essay to actually be qualified as a first class essay, it must, for instance, interrogate the question itself, flip the question on its head, and also build an argument. With the essay that ChatGPT produced, it didn't really have an argument. It just said, the answer to the question is this and this. And overall, this is the answer to the question. And I think that when it comes to essays, you really have to have your own original opinion and you have to put that forward. And that's what this essay lacked. Alongside this, you know, people say the citations aren't necessarily accurate. With ChatGPT, I did check the citations and they did seem to be accurate, which was definitely good. However, because it largely has regurgitated information, it will probably be flagged up in plagiarism reviews. It has already given wrong answers. It has already given misinformation. And so 
In a sense, I do think ChatGPT is being overhyped and it's really important to consider the fact that there are still many gaps which need to be filled. Alongside this, however, it's definitely an impressive development and it definitely deserves the recognition that it is getting. By the way, she also has a YouTube channel. You can see over here. Do check it out. It's a very cool channel with some amazing insights that even I wasn't aware of. And I was like, whoa, this channel is an amazing godsend. Let's actually consider whether GPT chat is actually the hero or is it more of a vigilante anti-hero type character in our story? Do we actually want to complete our homework in less than a minute? To answer that question, I think we need to go back a few layers and think about what is the purpose of homework? The reason for homework are twofold. Number one, teachers want you to understand and learn the topic. And number two, teachers want to assess your competency and ability on a particular topic. They want to see how well you understand. So linked into number one, it's a tool for assessment. Now, if we are using GPT chat, you're not really understanding and learning the topic and you're not really giving a fair reflection of your own abilities. In fact, you are giving a reflection of GPT chat's ability. I would say in this case that it is not a good use to utilize GPT chat to complete your homework, despite the fact that it can do the job to a pretty good extent. A more left field point to consider here is from authors like Nicholas Carr, who have written books a long, long time before GPT chat even existed called Shallows, where he professes the idea that over-reliance on technology can really nullify our deeper thinking skill sets. Even things like Google search reduces your ability to do deep level thinking. And is that really what we want from our brains? Do we really want to turn into a vegetative state and not really have the ability to do deep and reflective thinking for ourselves? I don't know about you, but that's not the kind of life I want to live for myself. As I have mentioned in other videos, the world is evolving. You have robots on one side and you have humans on the other. Now, if we look at what a human can do and what a robot can do, a robot is faster than you, it's cheaper than you. It doesn't make as many mistakes. It doesn't need a salary. It just requires a tiny bit of electricity. It doesn't need food. It doesn't need to rest. It doesn't need any of these weaknesses that are associated with a human. So it can do every single thing that you can do and it can do it faster, cheaper and much more efficiently. So what is the place for humans in the future? You only have one advantage and one advantage alone, and that's understanding. You have the ability to understand. And that is something that we must retain even with really amazing and crazy softwares that exist such as GPT chat. And there is this idea floating about which is that chat GPT could potentially replace students because of this ability to generate student essays. However, the important thing to bear in mind is that schools and universities will likely adapt their modes of assessment to combat this. And so we don't have to worry about chat GPT and other AI technologies taking over the world and taking over students in universities. That being said, every time you input something into one of these AI softwares, you are actually giving them more high quality training data to work with and therefore improving their system. So who knows, we may have aided chat GPT in its mission to take over the world, but hopefully not. In my eyes, the future of education is probably going to shift from writing pieces of homework or writing essays and articles to actually verifying what these highly intellectual, highly refined models are producing. It's more of a verification than actually writing job. And a word we might say to that is judgment. So judgment, as Naval Ravikant says, we want robots to do the work and we want to be paid for our judgment. And what's going to happen is that even small amount of judgment difference, like if my judgment is 1% lower than your judgment, your ability to earn income will be almost 10 or 100 fold because judgment and judging ability will be the deciding factor because all else will be equal because everyone will have this tech available in a few years time your schools will have these tech installed within your school systems talking about homework i have some homework for you a lot of you haven't subscribed to this video because apparently likes are still a thing and they make a huge difference for the algorithm please do check out gpt chat and subscribe for more videos like this.